私はとても幸福だ。もう我慢できない。なんて恐ろしい世界なんだ。何あなたは誰だ ?What did you just say? I don't speak non-English. Get out of here. You will die. <laughs> Now those are words I can understand. <laughs> Where'd my weapon go? Now you boys wouldn't start this dance without a little old me, would you? What? Nani? Welcome dreamers. If it's your second or third time watching one of my videos and you're not subscribed, go ahead and do it for your boy. Before you even ask, yes, Tommy is still on strike, but He's been acting very weird recently. Uh, I think you should stay clear of him. I am not worried about Tommy, but let's get into today's topic. So I'm doing a video series on games you can play right now while you're waiting on Rail Seas. The game in question is Project Smash. Now this game just recently came out and it has taken the anime community by storm. Heading into the game, we have kind of like this lobby area where you got this big arena portal right here. That's how you actually get into the game. And then you got these D tier characters right here, which currently are the only available characters. In this game, we start off in the ninja class and then you go to knight or archer or boxer. They just added sumo and viking literally the other day. So you know this game is getting updates. Again, they did add these two characters at the same time and there are only two character slots left. So in the next update, we're probably gonna finish out the D tier list. Now, I don't know how long it's gonna take them to do tier C, but as you can see, all of these are actually blank. So you have no idea what they're gonna be, but coming back to D tier, I'm pretty sure they just added this. This looks like it's gonna be a range class because you got the cowboy signal right there. I'm not exactly sure what this is, but it looks kind of like a tank, I'm pretty sure. Starting off with Ninja, since this is what most of y'all are actually going to be, you wanna hop in this portal right here, and you'll be on this map right here. It's a nice, a nice like default map kind of thing, but it's really the combat is what you're here for. The game works just like Smash, right? So you have these percentages over your head, and as you attack more, right? You get more percentages and it's easier to get knocked back. So if you have like a hundred, then you get knocked back more and more. I'm pretty sure 300 is the max. So the first move is Whirlwind Slash. That one is super nice. Kind of reminds me of Supersonic Ninja. And then you have Ghost Strike. So this right here, yeah, that one's really nice too. The, those two moves can knock people off the map pretty easily. Now these last two moves aren't my forte, but I know people make them work for sure. You got Firecrackers. Now this one's a stun move because then you can just attack right after that. Uh, and then you have Bomb Toss. Now this is the hardest move to get off in the kit, but it does the most damage. Look at that. He sent him flying. Now I'm going for Archer to show y'all exactly what type of different character versatility there is. So we got Archer right here. Nice looking bow. Got these going crazy. Going crazy. A little, a little zesty if you ask me. I ain't gonna lie. A little zesty if you ask me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we got the first move right here, which is Gale Shot. That's a very long range attack. Now we have rapid fire, more of a short range, I think. I'm pretty sure that's more of a short range. You have Cyclone, which Swift DFG spams. You know, he'd be spamming and whatnot. And then you have Gale Bomb, which is pretty much just an explosion. So, and it sends you flying. So yeah, that, that that's gonna be tough, bro. I go lie. This, this move set is actually really good. And uh, if anybody tells you it's not, they're lying. They're, they're lying. You do have multiple jumps and as well as like a, a Q dash. And you have a lot of stuff in this game, right? So you can jump up. And you could you could like hit people upwards and then you have like this down tilt you click down and then you do like a down tilt now it is directional so if you jump up and you do this obviously you go up and then if you go down and you go look downwards you'll go down i go i figured that out like just now so we we going crazy we going crazy now currently there isn't any game passes except for vip and that just gives you more xp per kill and more money per kill so you know what i'm saying like it, it's not pay to win it's not pay to win okay actually you could buy money but all the characters are balanced so it doesn't matter now obviously rail c is going to have a very different combat system and stuff but if you want to test your reaction time against other players for rail c's and you're waiting too and if you're, if you're just bored too you know what i'm saying you can go crazy in this game i promise you I genuinely believe you guys are gonna have so much fun playing this. And if you don't believe me, go ahead and join the streams and go ahead and subscribe. Speaking of that, if you made it to the end of the video, make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. Let me know down in the description below, will you be playing this game? With that being said, my name is Dream Ch Tommy? Where have you been? To no, no, Tommy, we can talk about this.